RCB team is set. If DK comes to form, batting is set. And uh, in the power play batting, because Raghul is there. And finally, they managed to let go of Riyan Parag, which is uh, a bit concerned because Sanjo is not giving runs if you slowly understand. Similar template, the batters are scoring, death over is not working out, and the spinners are doing good in Chinasamy Stadium. Their team has much more chances of winning it. Any team who has a great bowling attack should be the favorite. Probably your campaign is done. Start looking forward to the future. Finally, will this be the year of Isala Cup Namde or Punjab Kings winning the trophy, LSG Maiden trophy or RR who went till the finals last time, would they be clinching the trophy this time? And what about the sad story of Delhi Capitals? So that is what predominantly we'll be seeing in this video. And on Thursday's video, we have seen the part one review. My idea is that my winners is from that slot and from my runners is from this slot. So let's enter into the video. Before that, a small request, if you're watching our page for the first time, Please do subscribe and stay connected, that gives us a lot of motivation. So first, let me just start with Punjab Kings. I'll come to RCB in a bit while because quite a discussion needs to be happened there. So Punjab Kings, I think uh, on paper, like always, their team was so strong. And Dhawan, Prabhsimran and Jitesh are their top three batters. And Ashdeep, uh, Sam and then Ellis is their top three bowlers. Interestingly, Rabada is not there, but Rabada is missing out because uh, he is a bit injured, not because Ellis was performing, just to let you know. On that note, their greatest strength is their death bowling. Ashdeep Singh, Sam Karan, Elias, Rabada. I mean, they are just bowling with an economy rate of 8.2. That is a very good economy rate to be having in the middle overs. Punjab Kings are so fortunate that they are maintaining it in the death overs. Jitesh Karan, uh, they are doing extremely good in the finishing role as well along with Shahrukh. And then uh, Sam won 2 out of 3 matches, captaining as well, which is a great sight. And all their replacement players like Sail, Raza, Banuka, Banuka Rajapaksha, Short, or for a fact, even Ellis, they have been doing really great, which shows Punjab has assembled a very great squad. But what is that something that they are lacking? So it's their power play batting, obviously. Maybe we can put it down to Dhawan and say that he's playing with a low strike rate, but it's also the duty of other batter to take it up. Perhaps Simran was opened, Short opened, but that is something which they are looking forward on that note, like Adarwada, whom they tried, and Brar at number three. So the inference that I want to put here is that. They just missed one solid Indian opener. Probably Mayank was slotted in that role exactly last year. They let go, him, let go of him, but let's not go there. They just lack one great Indian batter out there. Someone like Mandeep Singh would also would have added some sort of value. But I, I guess you would have got what I exactly mean here. And also in the middle overs, they are batting with a run rate of just 7.71, which is also a bit of concern. So it's just that PBK's team is set once the one is back from injury. They have to just start the acceleration in the first and middle overs so that their team has much more chances of winning it. Any team who has a great bowling attack should be the favourites and Punjab are definitely one. On that note, let's move to Lucknow Super Giants and understand that the first thing what I want to say here is that Rahul is still playing with a strike rate of less than 115, which is a major concern. We'll come to that in a bit while, but few things that they are really working on is that they are death bowling. They have taken 21 wickets at an economy rate of less than 10 at the death, which is pretty decent considering that Mark Wood didn't play for quite some matches. And middle over bowling, they are doing extremely great with 7.31 run rate. And even in the middle over batting, they are scoring at 8.96, which is really great. LSG, we all know like they have a great squad on the paper and great names in the, in the batting order as well. So all the stats are justified. And Puran especially, he has been doing with a run rate of 2 and 2 and dealing with 6s. So extremely great to watch him. But what is that they are lacking is that in the power play, maybe Mark Wood is missing, Avesh is not doing good, Motion is missing. They uh, have taken the least wickets in the season, just 6 wickets. And um, they are death over batting, even though Puran is there, Stoinis is there. It's still like on paper, they are just scoring with 8.2, which is a bit of concern. And uh, in the power play batting, because Raghul is there, the strike rate is less than 130, which is a great, uh, which is a great uh, point of a negative uh, downside that we can see it. And apart from that, Quentin Decock, I'm wishing that he makes a makes into the squad very soon. But let's just wait and watch when they are hoping him in. On that note, let's move to Rajasthan Royals. So yesterday's match, uh, RR vs CSK, sorry, day before, that is not included here because this video was recorded much prior to that. But just letting you know, RR again on paper a great squad. They have started exactly in the same way they did the last year. Butler doing most of the things. SSV Jaishwal popping up was a great thing. And finally, they managed to let go of Riyan Parag, which is 
it, which is a guy sign of you know like good decision making of course i also believed that parag would come good but it was just that too many chances let's understand what rr rr is doing really great and then coming into the negative part so rr power play bowling again like bolt is taking care of just an economy rate of 7.54 as a team which is really great and then uh, death over batting 11.0 to run rate which is mainly contributed by ashwin hetmeyer and through which is really great sign but apart from that their middle over batting is also uh, a bit concerned because sanjo is not giving runs if you slowly understand just 8.41 run rate and uh, their middle over uh, bowling is also around like 8 uh, economy rate so that is something that rajasthan royals can definitely work on and then their sixth bowling option which they didn't have last season that is hurting them this season hopefully they find out a way very soon it's if they are batting second because of impact player role they are getting the sixth option by default but if they are batting first they are struggling with the five bowling option and jason holder much was expected from him but it's just that he didn't deliver to the prime that he can actually do that is hurting team combination a bit apart from that butler jaiswal hit my top scorers and uh, chahal bolt ashwin the top wicket takers everything aligned with whatever expectations are just that it was great that parag was let go off and jason holder once he come back to his prime form this team would be an entire thing and not to forget sanju samson is also underperforming i can definitely say that if sanju also delivers the way that he is doing it should be really great and uh, we'll come to rcb in the last before that slightly want to cover dc i don't want to display any stats for dc and then say like this is working out that is not working out i think on a whole if we are just looking at from the outside we know that dc still have a great team on paper they are missing punt of course but it's just that they made a lot of too many changes in the batting order and also in the bowling uh, thing not trying out few players so my humble request to dc is that probably your campaign is done start looking forward to the future i was really happy when shaw was dropped and salt was tried out at the top because you never know when punt comes as a captain next year you may not need warner also so it's a great thing that salt has been tried but it's just that leave out all the things i'll show you some stats top batters and bowlers though but but just work on a good team combination considering the next year this year is already done dc so that is what i would like to see them going forward doing next but not much to speak about dc on that front coming to rcb at the last isala cup nam the similar template the batters are scoring death over is not working out and the spinners are doing good in china swami stadium how many times year on year we have to just speak about the same thing and still the team is not winning before that we'll just see some bit of stats so the top batters are faf maxi and virat so we know that and their bowlers are siraj harshal hasaranga along expected lines their power play bowling siraj has been extremely great as a team they are just bowling with an economy rate of 5.06 which is really great and their power play batting is also close to 10 run rate which is also a great sign mainly contributed by faf and their economy rate in the death like we always know like it's hovering over 11 which is a really really bad sign and then they run rate at the death batting wise also since dk is not contributing it's less than 8.5 which is a bit of worry of concern and other batters apart from the top 3 have just scored at a below average of 12 which is hurting the team so these are all stats wise but let's just speak practically rcb team is set if dk comes to form batting is set it's just that they bowling they i don't know what magic that bowling can potentially produce but if rcb has to win it it has to be decided by some external factors not the team because the team is always great and doing great things it's just that they are not winning the games hopefully let's just believe and assume and wish rcb wins it this time and ends their trophy drought leave in uh, your thoughts on the comments i have ends reach the end of the video whatever you feel about this and mainly put it in the uh, comments your predictions who would be the top 4 on the comments would be really excited to watch and if you like this video please do uh, subscribe and share with your friends and i'll see you soon on my next video on tuesday